Hi right, guys, it's Shishkabobber1 here coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. Okay, today's video is kind of done in two parts. I did a lot of shooting tonight and had to kind of put two different clips together. Uh, in the first part, you're going to see me do a uh, fully boosted op attack. Um, it's going to be a good one against Conveyor. And in the second part of this video, you're going to see the outcome of uh, me attacking Global Number 10. So uh, stay tuned and I hope we are going to jump into an op attack using Bullets Best. These tribals are fantastic for Bullets Best. We've got our 45% tank health and our 60% grenadier damage. So that's super awesome. We're fully boosted. We've been running around trying to clear stuff on our map, working on Global Number 10 and 3. But these guys keep logging in, so it makes it difficult to take them out. Okay. Okay, um, the task force has already been pretty busy here. Quantum's a dead giveaway. Distortion, I'm sorry, Distortion's the dead giveaway. Quantum, eh, we could maybe do, but it kind of looks easy. Um, we just go clear some junk over here on the left, and we're to the core. We win. Uh, I think Conveyor's where we need to go. Now, participation's been a little bit weak after the holidays in my task force as well, so that's why we've downgraded here to, uh, where are we, Bottleneck? Yeah, Bottleneck. It is what it is. As long as we're killing stuff, we're having fun. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Well, we see a Fat Grappler 3, if we want to go left on this. He has a ton of health. Like, if we were going to take that thing down with GBE, it would take a tremendous amount of GBE to take him down, if we were going to Bart it. We could keep him under shocks. It might be kind of fun to try, because our other, our, our other alternative is to go left, or to go right, I mean. And um, there's just a lot of junk over here that we have to, to destroy, which is fun, but is it necessary? That's what we really have to ask ourselves. Is it necessary? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're going to go kill all that junk on the right. These flamethrowers are going to be in range. We're actually going to drop everybody on the right corner over here and just let the fun happen. Uh, in terms of GBE that we need to spend, it's probably going to be on the Shock Launcher, who's rocking 47,000 HP. That'll be two barrages and about four artillery in that range. We'll, we'll start off with a two and three. Other than that, we're looking pretty good. These rockets won't be boosted but the Tribal. Yeah, keep in mind, guys, with these Tribal rockets, they hurt. They even hurt Bullet. Um, they've also made uh, resource bases a little bit trickier to get, too, because a lot of those resource bases have rockets, and those warriors get a little bit more fried, fried than they're used to. Um, just a little shish kebab or heads up on the uh, rocket tribal. But we don't have to worry about that here. Let's just get into it, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Roll out. Okay, so like I said, we just spammed up everyone in the corner. I might put some smoke down. Ah, it doesn't matter. We'll put some smoke down if we need it. But I don't think those flamethrowers, they can't reach. They can't reach those guys that are dropped on the landing craft. Okay, they will reach bullet, but that's fine. Okay, we said two and three to start. Two barrage, three artilleries. One, two, and three. See where that gets us. Almost there, guys. Yep, so there we go. There's the fourth one. Okay. Shock launcher. We don't have to worry about him. Now, one thing I want to be careful about is getting fanned out by that boom cannon. I do not want that to happen. And I actually want our grenadiers... I actually want our grenadiers to... Um, Toss all their grenades forward, and what is going on? Oh, got up destroy bringing me in some uh, some Skype messages. Let's put a shock over here because our healers are getting torn up. Let's go ahead and give Bullet a drink. Let's get Bullet back over here. Let's uh, reshock that junk. Let's smoke that stuff. We're not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. A little bit of creative creative flaring here going on i suppose We've got two minutes and 43 seconds if anything happens i'm blaming op destroy for sending me that uh, skype message okay i would really like to take rid of uh, get rid of these rocket launchers because if we're going to move into the hq we don't want these guys in our way Go ahead and take another drink, because we have tons of GBE. We're at the 2 minute and 13 second mark. Let's put some critters over here on the left. We're going to lose a grin, but hopefully not more. Oh no, we actually managed to save them. That's a miracle. Let's put some critters by the boom cannons. 
Let's flare everybody over to this area. Let's drop a heal since everyone's going to be over there. Let's put a shock on those mortars before it's too late. Oh, it might be too late. These boom cannons are going to have fun picking us off in the back. Let's give Bullet a drink. Let's smoke the back. Let's get everybody down here. Let's put some critters over here. It's 32 GBE for the next drink. We have a minute and 30 seconds to go. Need to kind of hurry up a little bit. Oh, shoot, the grappler. Okay, let's see if I can smoke bullet out of there. And get everybody else out of there. Okay. Minor setback. Forgot about the grappler, guys. Whoo! Let's give bullet that drink. Is that grappler in range of the core? I sure hope not. Okay, 45 seconds. I think we got it. I think we got it. Kind of a rough solo, um, but you see how we can recover. <laughs> By the way, that's how you get a uh, bullet out of a bad situation in a grappler, but you got to have GBE to do that, obviously. Uh, let's drop a heal in the back. I don't know if it really matters, but uh, we'll put it down there anyway. Here we go, guys. Solo. I know it's only a level 91 base, 122 task force points, but hey, it was still a solo, okay? It was still a solo. I ran around, did a lot of stuff, and kaboom! Conveyor goes down to Bullet's Best. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. Bullet's Best. You're going to be seeing a lot of it this tribal cycle, guys. There's no doubt about it. It is, uh, it is definitely a good, uh, good combination to be using on this cycle. So with that, I think we're going to wrap this video up. Let's go ahead and reinforce. Ooh, 298K, a little bit expensive, but that's okay. All right, guys, we did it. Look what we did. Oh, we got someone else to attack. Well, that's cool. Um, yes. We just destroyed Global number 10. Uh, we took some more tries on Global number 3 here. It hasn't quite worked out, but Global number 10 is what I want to show you guys. Look at that. 1858 taken down by Bullets Best, fully boosted with the Tribals. Tribals are, uh, what do we got? 45% to tank health down here, and we have 60% to Grenadier damage. So all of that definitely helped with what we did. Now, like I was saying, like I was saying, um, the guy that we took out, right over here 1858 victory points let's see where that is on the leaderboard well it's now 1857 but whatever that's global number 10 right there so we took him out guys it was super awesome now what was he rocking well he had the exact same bonuses as global number three here which is with 168 104 that's 168 to health and 104 to damage so it was nothing to sneeze at that's for sure all right, um, I hope the audio levels are good on this one. I tried to do this recording a little bit ago and it didn't work out so well. Anyway, right, let's do the battle. Let's see. Now, I took uh, four attempts on this guy, and um, I was very, very close on the third attempt. We were just off by a couple seconds. Now, what we're going to do here, we noticed that it's a typical uh, layout with the Shield Gen 3 on both the left and the right. This is a typical leaderboard style layout, is what I mean to say. Um, he's rocking the tribal boost to the rockets, so he's got 60% more damage to the rockets, and he's got the tribal boost to the shield gen 3, so he's got 150% more health to the shield gen 3s. Okay, so, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop bullet, uh, close to the boom cannon and the gold storage, and we're gonna drop all the other troops on the right side of the beach. This way, bullet will attract the attention of laser, and none of the other troops will get hit by it on the drop. We had this problem before. We're also going to be barding out the shock launcher with, uh, I believe, what was it, two barrages and four artilleries. Now, those artilleries are also going to be spread out to the surrounding structures to get bonus GBE, but we're going to do all the barding after the drop because time is precious. Let's just get into it. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here's how it begins. Bullet on the left, everybody else on the right. Here comes the bark. Two barrage, four artillery, boom, 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 just like clockwork, the shock launcher goes down. Now. Laser has the attention, or Bullet has the attention of the laser, but it's not hitting anyone else, so that's beautiful. We're putting the critters on the shock. You know how we like our critters, guys. Always, always best served on a shock. Now, Bullet's health is getting a little bit low. Um, we're going to flare him pretty soon. Here comes the flare. Again, the laser is just looking at Bullet, and it's not hitting anyone else, which is awesome. 
The Grens and Tanks did short work of the right side. Now as they're moving back up uh, towards the HQ, we shock the laser and the boom cannon. Bullets just basically eating all the shocks from the other shock launcher on the left. We're waiting for the tanks from the Grens to start doing damage. Um, we're going to keep things under shock. Now, uh, we were a little bit slow on that shock. Our tank took a hit from the boom cannon, but lucky for us, we have that tank tribal of another 40% uh, health. If we hadn't had that tank, probably would have been dead with that shot. So we keep things under shock one more time. We are just waiting for this uh, laser to go down. Finally, it goes down. As soon as it goes down, we reflare, we smoke, we smoke, we throw some critters. Yep, here go the, here go the critters. Now we're getting everybody tucked away into the corner. Everything's looking good. The shield gen's almost down. The shield gen goes down. We flare bullet over to the um, to the flamethrower. We give him a drink to get up there quickly, so he'll also get the attention of the boom cannon. At this point, um, I know we've still got a lot of GBE. We've been killing a lot of stuff, and we didn't bark down a whole lot of stuff. So we've got we've got GBE. I know we've got enough for another drink, and I'm already knowing we're in a really good position at this point. So uh, we're taking out these rocket launchers over here. This one rocket launcher. Bullet is getting low on health, but everything's doing good. The Grens are giving their overthrow, their piggyback damage, um, all the stuff behind the HQ is dropping. Uh, we go ahead and take a drink right now, and now we've basically got enough GBE for one more drink. Although a couple more structures will fall, and we're going to gain a little bit more GBE. But I'm sitting here thinking now, during the burn phase, this shock launcher is very pesky because it's shocking Bullet. We don't like it when Bullet's shot. When Bullet's shocked, he's not doing DPS. When Bullet is not doing DPS, uh, we just don't do good things, you know? He, he is the primary source of our DPS. So I'm thinking, should I drop an artillery, but then lose the ability to drink? We go ahead and drop the artillery right there. With one or two more grenades, uh, the shock launcher will go down. Lucky for us, though, slight miscalculation, we do have enough GE. As soon as that uh, shock launcher goes down, we're going to reflare all of our troops closer to the base, and then we will uh, have enough a GBE for one drink after the shield goes down. So, when we do this reflare, we know that we're probably going to be taking more damage to the Grenadiers, possibly losing them, because these rockets do hurt. However, it's okay. It's okay. The idea here is twofold. One, for the Grenadiers that don't die, they will be doing more damage. Two, the healers are going to be running around healing other stuff other than Bullet. This means Bullet's health will get lower, which will enable him to do more damage. He is still the powerhouse of this uh, troop combination. Don't forget that. Here we go, we're entering the final phase. Troop health, or the HQ health is low. Here comes the burn, guys. Here comes the burn. And just like that, just like that, kaboom! Global number 10. The global number 10 goes down to Pound Town, guys. It was an amazing hit. It was an amazing hit. Um, again, only four tries. I wish I could have done it with you live, but when I was attacking this guy, uh, they were going on and offline, both global one and three. So it was kind of like a real it was very hard to focus on one without uh, getting distracted by having to attack the other while I was under boost. This might be a strategy they use at the high levels. I don't know. But anyway, hey, I just wanted to share that with you. I uh, hope you have a super fantastic, awesome day. And remember, like always, guys, be kind to others. Because if you're not, you're just being mean. And mean people suck. Have a great day.